Veritas Healthcare helps patients and their families with hospice and palliative care when faced with terminal illness. And here to, show, here to share more about end of life assistance, our admission liaison of Vitas Healthcare, Lorraine Hall, and massage therapist and wellness champion, Calvin Vinson. Welcome, Lorraine and Calvin. So glad you are both here today. Thank so, you. Vitas Healthcare has been around in our region for quite a number of years. Yes. It's a national company. Yes, we are a national company. We started our program in 1978 in the uh, city of Miami-Dade, Florida. That's where our corporate office is located. VTOS was started with a nurse and a gentleman, and um, the person said, if you show me how to take care of my dying loved one, I will uh, share this experience with you. And hospice is not a concept started here in this country. It was started in another country, but the concept of hospice grew and that's the premise behind end of life care here. Um, and VTOS is, 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 a, is a hospice company primarily, it or is organization. A company. And yes. so only hospice is what you all work with, is that the correct? The only thing we do is hospice and end of life care. That's our only focus. Yeah, so help our viewers to understand exactly what hospice is, because I think we all have a notion, and it's not always a good notion, of exactly. what that means and what that stage of one's illness and care actually is. So help us to understand exactly what that means from, from your standpoint. Okay, I'd like to discuss it as a journey. Mm -hmm. It's a journey of life. And hospice is, it comes into a person's life during that final journey of life. And the way it comes into your life is that uh, the medical community has determined whatever this life-threatening illness that's going on with you within six months or so that it could cause you to die. Now, I also want to help people understand hospice is not about dying. It's about quality of life. It's about taking care of business and understanding what you do and that you still have control during that final journey. Okay, so what are some of the things that come into hospice care when you, you say you're taking care of business but also maintaining uh, the best quality of life that you can have exactly. at that point? What are some of the things that you would bring to a patient during that hospice part of their journey? Well, since hospice focuses on comfort care, it does not focus on curative care. Since it focuses on comfort care during that final journey, instead of aggressive treatment and going to the hospital, the goal is to stay at home and we bring those services to you. So what are those services? Those services are the nurse that will come in to visit you, the home health aide that will come in to visit you. You have your own um, chaplain, you have a social worker, and you have other disciplines. One of the other disciplines that will come and visit you if you qualify for it is massage therapy. And our massage therapist, Mr. Kel Kelvin Vincent, is here to kind of chime in and talk about the service that he provides as a discipline of hospice. Right, Calvin, yeah, tell us a little bit about that and who qualifies and what is that, how, do, how does that help them? Well, first of all, massage therapy uh, in comparison to traditional massage is different because in hospice care, it is more palliative. Uh, we seek to control or manage pain, stress levels, anxiety, uh, swelling. There's a host of uh, 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 circulation uh, there's a host of things that we look at and it's based on individuals needs at the time because everybody is different depending upon their diagnosis. Uh, to be appropriate, a doctor can uh, order an evaluation. That's when I'll go in. The family member can, the, the case manager, the nurse, anybody can just about in the system can order me to go, order a evaluation. I'll go in and based on the evaluation, I'll come back with the team and then we'll discuss a care plan if need be for that particular uh, uh, client. Uh, because it's individually based, uh, everybody's the needs may be different. Mm -hmm. So it's just something that we go in. And it's just a service that we offer in addition to the traditional services that are offered under um, Medicare, Medicare and Medicaid. The Medicare benefit. So if somebody does qualify for massage therapy, how often would you be going to visit them to provide that type of care? This is, will be discussed in the in, in team with the doctors and, and everybody else that's involved because there's about six or seven at least people that's involved in each person's care. 
Uh, it can be once a week. It can be three times a week. Okay. It just depends on what the need is and why we're going in. Some okay. of the services are more palliative, mm -hmm. where you know, then and you're going in not as frequent. But then, then again, too, somebody might have a, a restrictions in a limb, swelling. So then we need to go in more. So right. it really just I, depends. I understand. Okay, we're going to take a quick break right now. We'll come back and hear a lot more about what hospice means for us and for our family members. So we'll have more with Vitas Healthcare after this break. Please stay with us for more STL Live.